G'day and welcome back to Australian Natural High Tanning. Today I'd like to show you how I make my stretching frames. Okay, I make mine out of pine. The reason that is is because it's not heavy. If you want to get out of hardwood, you want to be built like Arnold Schwarzenegger a little bit. So I'm not built like him, so I use pine. Now, what I've done is it's just a, a box, you know, a, a box shape. You know, it's nothing, nothing elaborate. What I've done is, I think these came in 2.5 meter. So what I've done is I've cut mine down to about six and a half foot. Okay, so yeah, it's over two meters, roughly. Um, what I do with mine is I mark them out first always mark them out. I better show you the tools you're going to need is a drill, okay a drill bit. Now the drill bit is I'm pretty sure it's a 3 8, uh, no 5 16 sorry, the same as what my bolts are. You can use whatever bolts you want. You can use them thicker, longer, smaller, whatever you want. That's just what I've chosen. Okay so they will go through but one thing I do recommend is, is try and get them with a round head, mushroom head. You know, the ones with the square heads and that are right, but these are the ones I prefer. So that will give me that much, once I screw it down, I've got that much to play with. And that's, that's ample, that's plenty. What I do is when you cut them down, I'm lucky I've got a little sponge here that's exactly the same width is what this is so I've just used this but what you can do is get a piece of your, your timber that you've cut off what you do or what I do you know what I, I would suggest people do just that's the length there so you can even use this and just come up so that'll sit like that and that will sit like that that way when you um, when you tie your your skin on, you, the, the string isn't going to hit the ground. It's not going to be scraping your your, your, uh, your string and, and breaking it. So you've got a little bit of leeway. So usually what I do is it'll be that distance on that one and that distance on this one. You'll need a square, okay, a pencil or pen and I did use a, a tape before and your bolts okay I have washers on both sides always gonna have a good idea you know you don't really well one side actually yeah I don't need that the washer on the other side what you do is because it's it's got a, a a nut underneath here it will go into the hole and it will wedge itself in there Okay, even if you come along with the hammer and just give it a, a quick tap down, wedges itself in there. So, just a washer, put the nut on, and away you go. So what I've done is, is I've cut these all at the exact same length. Okay, so when I'm using this one, I will, I will be stretching up. This one here, I can use pretty much any skin. I can put a, a deer skin, I can put a goat skin, um, a small cow hide, not a large one. For a large one you need one much, much bigger than this. But a, um, a small cow hide, most hides that we have here in Australia, I can put on this one. Um, all I do then is just put up the backyard when I'm not using it. Okay, Pine, the last one I had lasted me about four or five years. So even though pine is a soft wood, it will last. It will last a long time. Don't get the treated pine. Okay, that's that's been treated. You don't want to you don't want to be touching it. Just natural pine. Okay, so don't definitely don't get the treated. And you'll know the treated because it's it's got a um, uh, a greeny tinge to it. Okay, I mean just ask me to go to the to, to my yard. Okay, so what I do is I'll. Put that on there, I'll mark it, 
Now that goes to the edge here. Okay, so that gives me the, the overflow that I need. Even though I'm using this, I'll still come back and use my square to make sure that everything is pretty well squared up. Now that line I know is definitely straight, it's not wobbly or so, and you might say, oh, that's a bit pedantic, but what can happen is you can get that it sits like that because of that. Now, over here, you can see where I've already done it. I've already drawn the holes and I've already put everything into place. Now, when I do that, as I will do here, what you do is you, you use your square, you put your square on and make, <laughs> yeah, put your square on and make sure that when you're ready to drill your holes, everything is exact. See that there, everything is exact. Okay, that way the frame should be a perfect 90 degree frame. Okay, so just, oh, now I've bumped it. Just make sure that everything is in order and I can't get this. Oh. Okay, so that's, that's pretty well that's pretty well spot on. I've got it spot on on this one. So what I'll do now is mark that. So if it does move, I know to go back into there, which it will move. Now what I'll do is put one hole in here. Don't go all the way through. Okay, I don't need to go all the way through. Okay, I don't want to drill this for a start. I'm going to put my hole through here, clean it all off, clean off in there. These do get little, little berry bits, so it's best to clean it all off. Put her in there. Now even though you might think, oh you know I've got a bolt in there, everything's perfect, no, you still need to come back and you still need to make sure that everything's level there, that's it there. Okay? So you can tighten this up or your hole and that's that one done it's not rocket science you know the thing I find here is uh, lack of lack of room you know that's that's uh, that's why I'm doing it on these poor little tables in my shed I just wouldn't go in there not 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 this time of day yeah, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I think it's about 40 degrees under here. In that shed there, I think it'll be about 45 to 48 degrees. So pick your places that, the, <laughs> that you do this. It would take you about an hour, you know, roughly an hour. And you don't need to be spot on, absolutely, oh, everything has to be perfect. You know, what you'll find, like the frame I had before this one, I did all the same things. Now, now that's the other thing is, don't put a hole here and a hole here, okay, diagonal. Always put them side by side, because there's not, if you put them diagonal like that, there's more movement in, uh, in this, in your frame. If you put them side by side, there's less movement. 
Okay, now what you can do if you don't want it, if you really want to go that extra length, is you can, once you've got it all together like this, do a saw, a saw cut, and then cut a quarter of it out. And then you can be bevel it into it. You can put this one into it, which will hold a little bit tighter. If you don't want to go that extreme and it is moving around, you can actually bind it. Get some rope and bind it. And that'll give it even more strength, you know, far more strength. So what I'll do is I'll come onto this one. Same thing. I want to make sure that I have all my measurements pretty well spot on. So this is just a sponge. It was fortunate that when I picked it up and it was exactly the same uh, width as this so I could use it without you know, worrying about offcuts. So what we do is, same as what we did there, that's the width I want, so I just put it here. Now I know that's, that's this is where I want the mark, because I could feel that, that it wasn't um, doing it properly. So what I do, so I use my square, that's my mark there, okay? So then I just eye it up with this mark, and if, if I've done it all properly, this should, um, once I do this, it should line up. So let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Hey, like a thumb in a bum. Yep, beautiful. Absolutely spot on. Absolutely. Okay, so now what I can do is get my drill. I don't want to go through my table, so I just lift it up a bit. The other thing you can do too, uh, I'm being a little bit lazy here, is instead of putting it all together like that, have only one in there, drill one here, drill one there, just go into this a little bit where you can move it and you can finish it off. But I, <laughs> yeah, I want to get out of the heat. So as you can see, the heat's starting to come in onto the veranda now. So I just clean it up. Place that into the hole. Do this up. Now, even though I've still got one in there and everything's sweet and everything's, you know, um, looking perfect, I still want to make sure before I drill this last hole. I still want to make sure that it's all perfect. Yep. So I just start my first hole. And there you go. Now all I need to do is go around, tighten it all up, and my frame's ready. So when I put it on the ground, it will sit on here and here. This won't be sitting on the ground. So when I put the rope around it, it will still be off the ground, okay? What you can do with these is you can, you may have, um, Oh, like here in Australia, you may have a lot of kangaroo and a lot of deer. Deer are much bigger than kangaroos. So what you can do to save space, save time, is you can mark these out, 
drill the holes and have this so as it does two different skins at the same time if you don't want to use so much string you know it's up to you but I hope that that helps that's what you need I recommend um, two bolts so you need eight bolts a drill as I said um, I think it's 5 16th I use you can use whatever you want you can use them longer use them shorter I, I recommend you don't go any longer than what you got there okay mainly because when you put it up against your wall or your fence or whatever you're going to do they may end up if they're too long they may, may end up marking it and scratching it um, trust me made that mistake so I hope this helps that's our frame so what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of skins in the freezer um, I didn't have time to tan them and as I said in previous uh, videos if you reach a, a certain stage and you can't go any further because you've got to go to work you've got to go out you've got to lose sunlight just wrap it up put it in the freezer it'll be fine and that's at any stage you know you might have you might have taken all the flesh off and you you can't go to the next step of tanning or, or pre-stretching like I do so you just wrap it up put it in the bag put it in the freezer if you get to the stretching process you can leave it there, you know, providing the bugs don't get to it. You, know, you can, once you've stretched it up, if you find you can't get back to it for two or three days, it's fine. You know, that's fine. Just remember, don't try and work it, especially when it goes dry. You know, don't leave it up here for, for weeks on end, or else you will come back um, and you'll tear the skin. Even when you try and tan it, you'll tear it. Okay? Well, I hope this helps. Um, if there's anything you want to know, any any parts you want to see, just leave a, a comment below, and we can make a, a DV, uh, make a video of it for you. As always, thank you very much for your time. You know, especially in these times. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out our our web page. What we're doing now is. If you find it difficult in Australia, if you find it difficult to get your hands on any any um, hides, we're now offering to sell hides to people. Um, I think an unfleshed starts around $50. That's for a kangaroo. Um, and a deer is 50 I think. Or you might not have the, the place to flesh them, so we can sell them already fleshed to you. So yeah, go and check our webpage out. Alright, you take care now, stay safe, stay proud, and I'll catch you next one.